Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Well today I wanted to come on to give you the other side of who I am. I am a woman of God. I was called into ministry at a young age. I knew that I was different. I knew that um, from the other kids that I was different. I would see visions and I would hear the still small voice. I would hear other people conversations and I'm not even around them. So I knew that I was special, but I, I, I have to come and tell you because I wanted you to know this other side of me, of who I really am and who I love to be. I'm not saying that life was easy because life has been hard. Anytime that you carry the anointing upon your life, there's going to always be some struggles. Because if you suffer with Christ, you're definitely going to reign with him. So I wanted to say this. When I was young, there's my mom friend that used to come over. And she used to sit in the chair and I would sit down on the floor. And I can remember listening to her talking about the word of God. I didn't understand it, but I would hear her and I would hear her tell, talk about Jesus and, you know, and how he has brought them out of so much and how he was able to, you know, feed them and kept clothes on their children back. And I would just listen and, and listen to the word and how she tell the story. And the other kids would be outside playing, but I was always there listening to what the word of God was saying. So I grew up in church. My mom made sure that we went to church. She made sure that we understood, you know, who God was and who Jesus was. She made sure of that. But I say this to say that it has been, it hasn't always been easy. Even when I was called into ministry at a young age, I was running because I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have anyone to teach me about how, you know, the spirit work, or how, you know, I'm seeing all of this and I don't understand it, you know, because back then it was more of a hush-hush, you know, they just didn't do that, you know, you, you don't see this or you don't hear that. So I was really out there on my own, just depending on the Lord to carry me through. And as I grew older, I was still yet running because I, I was afraid. And I remember it so vivid. The Lord woke me up out of my sleep and he gave me a vision. And in this vision, God was talking to me. And he said, he called my name. He said, Sarah. He said, do you love me? I said, yes, I love you. I'm talking back to him. And he said, Sarah, do you love me? And I said, yes, Lord, I love you. He said, no, Sarah, do you love me? And the voice was real strong. And I said, yes, Lord, I love you. And he said, Feed my sheep. And that's when I knew that he was calling me in to ministry. And I won't take nothing back for all the things that I've had to go through. Because this anointing that rests upon my life, it cost me something. It's cost me a lot. But I know that God was with me every step of the way, everything that I had to go through, everything that I had to endure, God was with me. So for anyone that's out there today and God is calling you into ministry, 
Don't run. Allow him to work the things out in your life. Don't allow the enemy to stop you from being all that God has called you to be. Because there's a purpose on your life. There's a mandate that's on your life. Glory to God. There's a mandate. And it has to be fulfilled. You don't want to leave this world and not have done everything that God has called and purposed for you to do. But I want to tell you that it's going to take faith to walk this thing out. It's going to take faith to endure all the hardship. It has not been easy for me. You lose friends that you thought was friends. People turn their backs on you. And it, this walk is a lonely walk. Anytime that you're doing something for Christ. Because some people don't want to be. They want to still live their life. Because they're afraid that it, they can't enjoy it. But when I tell you I have fun in, in the Lord. I have fun. I enjoy walking this walk. Because I know that there's a home that's waiting for me. My eternal home. See, what I'm doing here now, I'm just building. I'm building. I'm building my house for my eternal home. And it's going to take everything that's within me to get to where I need to go. But I wanted to stop by just to tell you, show you the other side of who I am. And I won't take it back. I will not take that back. I am who God says I am. I walk in what he says I am. But I wanted to let you all know. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this out. But just remember that whatever God, whatever assignment that God has given you, walk it out. Don't look at what the people may say. Or don't look at how the people may judge you. But just follow through. Because in the end, it's going to be all right. It will be well with your soul. So y'all have a great day. And may the Lord blessings follow you each and every day of your life. Bye for now.